From a lady's house in the mansion district. I don't like San Denis. It scares me. It's like a city built on... Built on I don't know what. It's built on... Memories. The whole place is all about memory. Memory? It's built on lies and mud and all things bad since this country was discovered. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> Very romantic. I knew you'd say that. Well, it is. <clears throat> Tired mansions gently sinking. Ghosts everywhere. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> You're mad. Well, if this place is romantic, I ain't sure I understand romance. Oh, yes, you do, Arthur. Uh, good job stealing that necklace, anyway. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. All right, Arthur. How are you? Not much better. I know how you feel. You getting by all right? And go on with Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. Uh, don't mention him, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Thank you. I think. You're all right, Jack. How long till we eat? What? All right. No reason. Hello, Arthur. <laughs> Got some guts, kid. Come on, stop <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> what? You were snoring, that's all. Oh, I'm going back to sleep. Hey, y'all. Oh, hello. Hi, Arthur. You settling back in? I like it here. Lots of places to explore. Well, don't explore too far. All right, well, I should be getting on. Uh-huh. There he is. Hey, Arthur. What's been going on? You know, this and that. 
Well, I'll leave you to whatever that is. All right, then. Hosea. Yeah. yeah. Any good news in there? There rarely is. Hi, Come here, well, Arthur. Dad. Leave you to it. All right, Dad, Arthur. Where are you? Right here, Mama. Mr. Williamson. Can I talk to you a second? Sure. I'm just so worried about Karen, Arthur. What is this slop? Why? You know why. She's gonna kill herself when she hits the liquor. Sure, but... But I guess that's her choice. <sighs> I'll try speaking with her. Thanks, Arthur. I'll try to. But... We both know it won't work. Hi, Dutch. Hi there, Arthur. Another day and we're still alive. Of course we are. Well, anyway, best not tempt fate. Whatever you say. Hi, Karen. Mr. Morgan? Working hard there? I guess. That makes a change. Is that meant to be funny? I'm only kidding around. You're hilarious, Arthur. Holy hell! Someone trying to poison us? Uh. Hi, Bill. So, apparently, the horseless carriage is a reality. In Germany. I read about it in the newspaper. What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I... I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill. This is death sounds. There's a good spot. You can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm joking. So, who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're your proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. 
We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew. Just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned. Let's cut across here, it'll be quicker. Challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him for 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, we're gonna need to cut some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Okay, here we are. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. them in the road over here so we can blow it as it comes over the bridge got some good cover over here you hide behind this tree to my left morgan williamson you take the other side try to stay out of sight we don't want to spook them You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. Got it. Yeah, we're looking good. All right. Best we get out of here. We'll split that up later. I trust you, cowpoke. Go on. I'll see. Back at camp. Yeah. 